I'm Jason Whiteley, the local Oak and Bishop Arts. We are talking about the 2018 midterm elections here with Bud Kennedy from the Star-Telegram and Bernadine Steptoe, Channel 8's political producer. Let's talk about House District number 115, Matt Rinaldi versus Julie Johnson. We had them on our program, Inside Texas Politics. This is, that was a fiery exchange, a lively debate between the two. We needed a referee. And, and indeed, indeed we did. Matt Rinaldi, the Republican incumbent running against Julie Johnson, the uh, the uh, uh, Dallas attorney who's the Democrat running in this race. Can Rinaldi survive this? You know, statistically, Matt is rated as the most conservative member of the House, even more so than Jonathan Stickley. Even more so than Stickley. If, if you notice his campaign, a lot of his advertising has moved to the middle because it's a very purple district now. So he says that he's, you know, against separating families at the border and, and for the money that the state put into education. Well, the state put it in education by telling this local school districts they had to raise it. But the, uh, but you know, so he, his campaign is all a moderate campaign. You know, I've seen, uh, we go back to yard signs again, there's some houses in Irving that have yard signs for Beto and Matt. And, you know, that, that's a real dramatic difference. It shows you that Matt's tried to move the middle. I don't know if he's been successful. Julie Johnson is back and going after him hard and has the help from people like Bennett Ratliff in that district and, you know, the, the, the former Republican, Republicans, Republican, yeah. right, the moderate Republicans. Former so Republican so Julie Johnson seems to have loaded up all the Democratic votes and the way Dallas is organized in the Democratic Party. I think Matt may be the most in trouble. Well, and then I go back to that trouble. I think the, that this race is, is closer. And it's interesting also because a lot of the Tea Party, uh, off the, the yeah. Tea Party candidates, they're in trouble. Well, I said we're not using trouble, didn't I? <laughs> in Dallas they, County. They, they, in they, Dallas they, they face stronger. Well, in Dallas County, because yeah. in Dallas, it's, it's interesting that they won anyway in Dallas County because Dallas County is, is generally uh, your Democratic county. But but it's as if the the Democrats coming back into fold and, and and putting these candidates in in, in competitive and closer races. Some of that's just the structure and of the election. And also keep in mind now, he's also the one to call ISIS on his colleagues in in the House. Let's talk about that. That was my next question because that seems to really be plaguing Rinaldi. Is that episode the last day of the session, the 2017 session? He sees people protesting uh, a bill in the House up in the gallery. He goes over to Pancho Navarez and to Ramon Romero and said it is called ice on them. He can't get out from underneath that. It turned into a shoving match, and he has yet to apologize. Yeah, yeah, it was a stunt. But, you know, now he's made that fit into the Republican theme of, of jobs, not mobs. Now he, over and over in the, his debate on Inside Texas Politics, he talked about the mob in the Capitol. He was defending his family from the mob and protecting, you know, he's trying to fit that into the theme that the Republicans are the ones who, who you know, uh, put down civil unrest and stop the mobs. And that's, that's part of the general party ticket. Um, part of the reason, you know, you have to remember too, structurally, this election, the midterm of a new president the other party usually wins back some right. seats. Some of these seats in Dallas County will go blue this time and might go red again in the general next time. In the general next time in Dallas County, perhaps. But I, and also when he was on entire Texas politics, the narrative, the, the national narrative, Republicans, mobs, whatever. But I think that he's waited too late to start that connection because he's let that entire time from the, from the time he did it in the House up to now to start trying to address it. And it has settled into, into, into those voters' minds. And even uh, some of the Republicans are not happy because he never apologized for calling ISIS. He never apologized for it. He, ne he has never seen a fault in it, and I'm sure he doesn't. But he's now moving into more of a purple district, and it's just not playing. That's House District number 115, Matt Rinaldi versus Julie Johnson. Don't forget Election Day, Tuesday, November the 6th, and don't forget to go vote.